is only a box of a terrorist attack. Uh, in fact, the, you know, the, the way it was carried out, and uh, to me, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a terrorist attack. I know there's a person of interest, I guess they're calling him now. Uh, but to me, this, this mm -hmm. reminds me of the attack in Times Square. And, uh, the attack by
Boston Globe reporting that they are injured. And a lot of these injuries are horrific. I mean, uh, you've been to uh, the theater of war in Afghanistan and Iraq at the back. And, and you know the situation. When these things go off, they're so uh, intense. And, and it just makes me really angry. This whole thing makes me really angry that these people in a free society Right, right. 
Anderson to Canaries. Now, the city of devices 
They're going to be looking at security cameras from hotels, from restaurants. Individual people have security on their homes, as you know. People live uh, right on Boylston Street, so they're going to be looking at all of that. My guess is they're going to find something. It's a good point. There are a lot of cameras there, especially on Marathon Day. Everybody had one. All right, Emily, we're glad you're safe. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. Thanks, I'm going to go to another former colleague of mine, Howie Clark, radio talk show host at WRKO. Thank you. 
was. It's, you know, downtown right. Boston, compacted area anyway, so everything is in there. Now, when you were uh, taking calls in the beginning of the interview tonight with me, you said that the anger hadn't seeped in. You know, you and I both know that Boston's not a genteel town, uh, despite the Brahmin reputation. This is a scrappy town. And I expect like, that people are going to... It's a town, as Obama said. Right. It is. And I expect people are going to get very, very angry here on Angry Dad. I mean, and because, again, you know, you're going to be targeting children for what? You know, for what? Because you are on some jihad or you're in the mountains someplace and think you're a Nazi guy? I mean, it's just sick across the board. Department. Looking for reasons. You know, it's county. Boston. Boston, he did not call it terror. Now, critics, you're right, 
find out all this information, they say, look, it's obvious it was a terror attack because when several explosive devices go off, that by its nature is a terror attack, but they do not yet know whether it's a, a foreign attack, whether it came from Al-Qaeda or some other group, or whether it's homegrown and some sort of domestic source of terrorism. Nonetheless, they acknowledge to me that they know they're going to face criticism if he's not calling it terror, when meanwhile, Dianne Feinstein and others in his own party are out there on the record tonight saying it was terror.
situation? No, I think we should, we should be all over it. I mean, I remember when we were in a briefing after Osama bin Laden was caught. That was a much better circumstance, obviously, for the United States. Uh, and, but there were a lot of unanswered questions about what happened, how did we do it, and you've, you've got to push just as hard, uh, whether the outcome is good or, in this case, where there's a terror attack on American soil. The president's going to be held accountable for that. Uh, we've got to get to the bottom of it, but this has happened now on his watch, and they're going to have to explain uh, not just what's happening in the investigation, but did they have any inkling of this at all? If not, why not? Uh, there's going to be a, there are a lot of unanswered questions. Jake Carney, not just him, but the FBI, the Homeland Security Department, Jack Napolitano are going to face a lot of questions uh, about what they knew and what they didn't know. And we should say fairness to them, obviously. This, is, this was said in the Bush administration when it's here, and should be said now, uh, which is that for the Department of Homeland Security, still a relatively new federal agent, post 9 11, as you noted, um, they uh, have to be right 100% of the time. The terrorists only have to be right once, and all of a sudden uh, we have a horrific scene. So there are a lot.